So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, shout out to Wayne Bordo. He t he asked me to you asked me to do a video on Terry Norris, terrible Terry Norris. You know what? I've started. I looked into Terry Norris's career. You know, I knew about Terry Norris and about his um, career at uh, super welterweight, um, but I obviously didn't know his career in depth. I knew he was a great fighter. Abel Sanchez, who was his trainer, sp spoke very highly of him. And I think he even said he was probably the best fighter he trained. He was that good. Uh, so I did know about Terry Norris, but I didn't look into his career. But after looking into his career and watching highlights and watching him fight in his prime, what a fighter. What a fighter. This is a guy that that beat Meldrick Taylor, Don Curry, Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard at the end of his career. But nevertheless, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard at any point, beating Sugar Ray Leonard is, 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 a, big, is a big feat, you know. Um, he lost to Julian Jackson. Uh, I believe his I believe his record was forty seven and nine uh, forty seven, and I think he had nine losses. Uh, but this is a guy that fought everyone, and not just that. When I looked at his um, boxing highlights, um, his speed, his power, his movement around the ring, he was a special fighter. He was a very very good fighter. His right hand was vicious. His left hook was vicious. He had speed, power, everything. And you said to me that he's a forgotten champion. You were 100% right, he is a forgotten champion because he was such a great fighter. But the thing is, the reason why he's a forgotten champion is because I think we forget how great the fighters were back then. And we take them for granted. There wasn't many fighters in today's time like Terry Norris. When I compare Crawford and Spence, for example, Terry Norris was way better than Errol Spence and, and Terence Crawford. right? But we speak... Of Errol Spence and Crawford in such high light and we hold them in such high regard when I look at Terry Norris and look at his ability and look at it, the speed the power uh, the fact that he take on all comers the names that he beat on his resume he's better than Crawford and Spence there's no doubt about it you know and super welterweight he was an exceptional fighter and I think if Terry Nor if Terry Norris had fought Crawford or or Spence I would have favored Terry Norris he had everything, speed, power, great chin, he had variety of punches, um, the, like I said, the resume speaks for itself, look at the names that he beat on that resume, you know, when you beat in the likes of Meldrick Taylor, Sugar Ray Leonard, Don Curry, you know, we're talking about some special fighters here that he's, he's dethroned and beat. You know, and he lost to Julian Jackson. There's no shame in that. Julian Jackson was one of one of the biggest punchers out there. What what it was sad is that I I recently saw an interview of Terry Norris, and he's ill. He's he is ill. He barely can get his words out now. He struggles to string put um get words out. You know, he's I think he's struggling with you know the the brutal career boxing career that he's had, and it's always sad to see when you see a boxer of that kind of ability and talent. You know, struggling to put sentences together because you know these. This is a this is a fighter that put it all on the line. That was a warrior in the ring, and now he's struggling with his health. And you know, we we know Muhammad Ali struggled with his health and Parkinson, and he was the greatest of them all. Uh, but Terry Norris for sure was a special fighter and a guy that definitely you were right, probably deserved a mention. And he is a forgotten champion. But I will say this: that you know, today when we look at Spence and Crawford. For me, Terry Norris, looking at his career, looking at the guys that he's beat, looking at his skill and talent and ability, for me, he was better than Crawford and Spence. But back then, there were so many great fighters that Terry Norris and fighters would like that would go under the radar. You know, Terry Norris was that good. You know, but there were so many great fighters back then that we probably didn't talk about Terry Norris as much because there's so many great fighters. It's like, if there's so many great fighters, right... A fighter that was probably not as good as the best, even though he was special. And maybe in today's time, Terry Norris might have been the best. If Terry Norris was fighting right now in the super welterweight division, when I look at the super welterweight division, Jamal Charlo, Tony Harrison, these guys are nothing compared to Tony Harrison. I mean, sorry, not Tony. These guys are nothing compared to Terry Norris. Terry Norris would have dominated the 154-pound division today. He was that good. But people, people... Back then, there were so many great fighters. So people like Terry Norris would go under the radar. But if Terry Norris was fighting in today's time, and I look at the 154-pound division today, he would be the best. He would dominate. And not just dominate. And even if guys like Spence and Crawford were to move up, he would dominate those guys as well. He was special, Norris. 
Uh, but like I said, back then, there were so many great fighters. Fighters like Norris would go under the radar. So, for me, Terry Norris is a great fighter. Uh, he's a guy that deserves respect. Probably he's a forgotten champion for sure, but he had speed, power. Um, he had everything. He had everything. I've, watched, I've been watching his highlights for a couple of days since you asked me to do his videos, and I was just in awe of how good this guy was. But back then, there were so many great fighters like that. But that's my little video on terry norris uh what do you guys think leave your thoughts about terry norris uh and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video i want to thank you all for me reaching 7,000 subs i appreciate your support guys as you can probably see from my channel art i have recently started patreon and blogger um, if you were to click on this uh icon here it will take you to my patreon page and I just want to take you through my Patreon page. So I've, at the minute, I've got two options. Hopefully, I will increase this if my Patreon grows. But at the minute, I've got uh, one option, which is $1 a month fan donation, which will obviously help me produce better quality content on YouTube and faster for you guys. And I've got another option of $3 a month for two live streams a week discussing boxing with myself. You guys will get to speak to me face to face. Um, and... I'll take you to my boxing blog. So if you were to click on the, this B sign here, it will take you to my boxing blogs, which is which is this page here. And all you have to do is click on here, and that will take you to my boxing blogs, where you can see all my different articles that I've wrote. So as you can see, I've wrote six articles about different topics. So if you want to click on one of my articles, all you got to do is click on this, and it will take you straight to the article, and you can read it, and you can then go back and read the others if you if you would like. But yeah, guys, I thought I just highlight this to you um so make sure to read my articles uh make sure to subscribe to my patreon if you're interested and guys i thank you for your your support i thank you for me reaching 7,000 subs guys i'm out